The Department of Defense has released a document that outlines the Secretary of Defense's strategic priorities for fiscal years 2022 through 2026 in alignment with the National Defense Strategy. Christine Wormuth, Secretary of the U.S. Army, said that she would like her tenure to be remembered through delivering the Army of 2030 and reducing harmful behavior in the service. The Internal Revenue Service has hired 4,000 customer service representatives to provide phone assistance for the 2023 taxpayer filing season as part of a larger modernization effort funded under the Inflation Reduction Act. Christopher Cleary, the principal cyber advisor of the Department of the Navy, has unveiled a new strategy outlining Don's priorities and objectives to achieve dominance in the cyberspace domain. Doug Wiggers, former commander of the U.S. Air Force's 11th Logistics Readiness Squadron, has been named Chief of Logistics and Joint Supply Chain Operations at the U.S. Space Force. The State Department is creating a working group to come up with guidance on how to gather and store software bills of materials to improve its supply chain risk management. Nathan Kabid, PE, an experienced pavement engineer, has joined Michael Baker International as National Practice Lead of National Pavement Services, the pavement engineering firm's newly created position. GovCon expert Rich Wilkinson published his latest feature article, detailing the results of the recently released 2022 Gage Report, like federal talent recruitment and the cost for government contracts. Join Potomac Officers Club's Cybersecurity in the Modern Intelligence Community Forum on November 16, 2022. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. GovCon expert Chuck Brooks was featured on the cover of Adello magazine and discussed the synergy of the metaverse and how the Internet of Things can raise security standards for the technology industry in a featured article for the publication. FedRAMP saw the number of cloud security packages reused by agencies increase by 132% from fiscal year 2020 to FY 2022.